We are super excited to have our friends at Great Lakes Helicopter come by to take us on some vertical flight training. The team will be going up in the air today to get a perspective of what it's like in a vertical takeoff scenario. Now this is in a helicopter, not the VTOL that we are working on, but the helicopter gives the team a unique perspective on, on the world and what it's like not just uh, to fly and, and see that perspective, but what it's like as a passenger in uh, today's helicopters. I've never been in a helicopter before myself, and most of the team here is fixed wing experience. Um, so it was gonna be a neat opportunity, We've never done it before. We're trying to develop a, a VTOL aircraft here. So I was really interested in how does the air helicopter work next to the ground or taking off, that whole interface with the planet kind of thing. Uh, so rather than go for a long flight, we ended up just doing uh, some really close ground hovering, some the torque turns, uh, it was really, really quite a great experience. It's pretty impressive, honestly, what they can do. Um, like the maneuverability and everything of the, uh, the vertical flight and um, just how much you can twist around and all of that. I'd say the pilots are very skilled um, and experienced because you really have to know what you're doing. Um, I say it's a super high pilot workload. I find them impressive machines nonetheless, um, but I just I really think there's strides that could be made when we're doing um, to simplify a lot of the yeah um, variability and pilot workload on on the, those machines and let alone single point failures and things like that. But I think we can make it a lot smoother. Something I noticed about helicopter, and this is the first time I've been in this one, it's a very tight cabin and it's very noisy and a lot of vibration. What we're trying to look at here is we're going to have noise obviously on the takeoff just we've got a lot of fans, a lot of lift, but it's for 20 seconds of your flight. The rest of the time we're in a, a fixed wing mode basically, which is quiet, comfortable. We can cruise at high speeds, so that's going to be a real difference between the helicopter and our aircraft. As a helicopter gets close to the ground, it basically gets into this ground effect, which is a very cushiony feeling thing. And I never imagined that's what happened. I thought helicopters just basically put the power on, took off and flew away. But as we got, um, as they get heavier loaded, we were discovering that there's a very special technique that's needed in order to accelerate, take off and fly a heavy load. It's not just up and go. So we did a few of those transitions and it was uh, pretty interesting. I had no idea that was going to happen. After the flights today, we caught up with Dwayne to talk about the helicopter industry and get his insights on eVTOLs and the future of advanced air mobility. I got interested in helicopters because of my old career. I was a commercial diver and commercial diving included traveling offshore a lot and to do that was all in helicopters. Some of the important missions for helicopters are firefighting, uh, now for exploration for lithium and cobalt for support of the mining industry for batteries and renewable energy. Search, rescue, um, ambulatory services are probably the bigger things that are important to the helicopter business. I think some of the newer concepts that are out in the market are intriguing, all of them in their own respects. I think that the battery operations, something to be desired, but not there yet. And I believe the, what we call the last mile transportation is going to be huge in the business. It'll take the place of bigger carrier aircraft and helicopters at some point in time. I believe the X7 can be used for that last mile type travel. I don't mean last mile literally. I mean, you know, within two, three, four hundred miles, uh, the urban corridor to cottage country 
in fire, in rescue, in surveillance, I think are all places that these are gonna get highly utilized. The Great Lakes Helicopters team uses this helicopter today for real missions to help with evacuation, emergency medevac, forest firefighting, and other commercial and industrial uses. So if we compare the helicopter we're flying in today to what the future will be with VTOLs, we'll be doing a lot of the same missions. The difference is with the Cavarite X7, we can fly nearly twice as fast. So we can do the same missions with all weather capability, but we can fly faster and with lower operating cost. That should change the landscape when it comes to companies like Great Lakes Helicopter and what they can provide to their customers.